Hey guys, today's video is going to show you how to make this little guy from cut the doll. I already have a video for this one, so today I'm going to show you how to make this one with its mouth open. We're going to make its body. We're going to set our room as a little V here and keep your red arrows point away from you. For the body, we're going to use two bands. Use green. Start from first on the center to first on your left. Two green. First, first to second on your left, and then two red. Continue on on your left, two red, two green, two green, two green. Now we're going to repeat this step and do it on your right. Two green, start from first on the center to first on your right. Two green, two red, two red, two green, two green, and two green. Now we're going to do the center. Two green, start from first to second on the center. Two red, from second to third. And the next two, I'm going to use a little bit darker red. But if you don't have it, you can just use red. And press right here, third to fourth on the center. Two red and two green. Now we're gonna make its teeth. For the teeth, these four on the top are bigger, and these two on the bottom are smaller. So for the big one, I'm gonna take one single band, twist three times. You will see four rings here, and take another single band, bring it in here, and we're gonna press both end in here. And this is one of the T. We're going to make one more. Take one single band, twist three times. You'll see four rings here. And take another single band, bring it in here. And now we're going to press both ends in here. Now we're going to take one single body color and bring these two teeth in here, like this. And now we're going to press right here, second one on your right, and then second one on your left. And we're going to keep one teeth on each side, kind of like we do for the eyes for other projects. And we're going to bring the center part in here, so for this one, it's going to look like this. Now we're going to make two more. We're going to take one single band, twist three times, so you'll see four rings here. And take one single band, bring it in here, like this. And now we're going to press this right here on the side. Second on your left. And now we're going to make one more. Take one single band, twist three times. You will see four rings here. Take another single band, bring it in here. And put both ends in here. Gonna look like this. We're going to press right here on the other side. Now we're going to make two smaller T's on the bottom. For the smaller T, I'm going to show you how to do it here. You take one single band, put it right here, twist it, and have it over on the second peg, twist it again, like this, and bring it over back here. So you will see two layers of the band here 
on the side. Now we're going to bring these bottom bands half it over to the center. And the same as this one on the other side, bring it over, hug it to the center. So here, bring the bottom one, half it over to the center. And bring the bottom one, half it over to the center. So that will help us to tie a knot on the center. And now we're going to take it off. And this is one of the T's. I'm going to put it right here. And now we're going to make another one. I'm going to show you one more time. This part might be a little bit harder for you guys. You take one single band, twist it, like make an A. But hold on to this part and you twist it again, like this. And bring this part back to this peg. And after you do that, you will see two layers of the band here. And now we're going to bring the bottom one and hop it over this peg. And the same, bring the bottom one, hug it over. So this just help us to tie a knot here. Now we can take this one out. So this is another smaller T. We can put it on your hook, like this. Now we're going to take one a body color and bring these two little teeth in here. And now I'm going to place right here. And keep one of the teeth on each side. And now we're going to bring this Pop it over in here. Now we're going to place horizontal band. I'm going to take one red, place right here in the center. And for the last one, I'm going to use two. Make an upside down triangle here. For the last one, I'm going to bring these two back here. So for this horizontal band, it's going to look like this. Now I'm going to add this leg, the back leg, on both sides for that part. I'm going to take two bands, place right here, and three bands. And we're going to need two pieces, so I'm going to do one more time right here. Two bands first, and then three bands. Now I'm going to take one single band, twist two times. You'll see three rings here, place right here. That's a cap band. We're going to take another single band, make another cap band. Twist two times. you see three rings here. Place right here on your right. That's a cap band. Now we're going to load the arm loom and start looping. Grab the bottom three. We'll get to the next one. Bottom two. We'll get to the next one. And we're going to do this part too. Grab the bottom three, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. Now we're gonna take it off. Gonna press right here. And the third one from the bottom here. One, two, three. Now we're gonna take this one off. And press on the other side. One, two, three from the bottom, right here. Now we're going to make a little add on on the side here. So we're going to add it right here. For that part, I'm going to take two bands, place right here, and two bands. And the same, we're going to need two sides. So I'm going to do it two times. Two bands. We're going to take one single band, twist only one time. You will see two rings. We're going to place right here as cap band. And we're going to make another cap band and place right here on your right. We're going to take one single band, twist one time. So you will see two rings here. Place right here. And the last one on your right. Again, we're going to rotate our loom and start looping. 
hold on to your cap band, grab the bottom two, and hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. The same, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Now, I'm going to take it off, and we're going to press this piece right here under the end of the red band next to the back leg here and then we're going to pull this cap band and press right here on the last one on your left like this now we're going to take another piece off and do the same on the other side press your loose end here And then grab the cap band and press right here on the last one on your right. Now I'm going to add on on the side, it's like this. Now we're going to take one single band, twist two times. So we'll see three rings here. We're going to press right here as cap band. And make another cap band. Twist two times. You'll see three rings here. Place right here on your right. Place right here on your right. Now we're already looping the band. Since we already rotated it, so we're going to loop on this side. At this point, your red arrow should point to you. Now we're going to grab the bottom two. Hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two. Hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two. Hook it to the next one. And we're going to continue to do this until the end of the room. And then for the last one, we're going to hook it to the last one on the center here. Now we're going to repeat this step and do it on your right. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. And again, we're going to continue to do this until the end of the room. We're going to come back here. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one, bottom two, hook it to the next one. And now, we're going to put your hook through the last one on the center, and take one single band, grab it through. Now put both ends on your hook, grab one end through the others, and pull it. So you will see a knot here, and hold on to your finger while you're pulling it. Now it's time to take it off. And be careful, here has so many bands. So if you use your hook, be very gentle so you won't break it. Now it's time to pull it off. And for this secure band, I'm going to hide it here on the back. Make sure you pull your secure band really good, tie it really good, so you won't come off. And put your hook through. Some of the band cross by, and you just grab it through, and pull it through, so you will hold it for us. And now we gotta straighten up a little bit on the center. For the T, you can pull a little bit on the top. And for the small one, you can pull it out a little bit so you will show more. And on the center part, you can squeeze it in a little bit since we already since we pull it a little bit while we pull it out. And now for the back leg, we're gonna pull it back a little bit. So you look like a back leg hiding from coming out from the back. And this is our little guy with Mouse open. Also, check out my other videos for this one. The mouse is closed.
If you like this video, please subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thank you for watching. See you next time.